Hi, I'm down in my basement. Why? Well, because I waited till the last minute to post this video because I've been super busy. You see, I'm a dad of three. Uh, I have my beautiful wife who is a pastor of a beautiful church here in Wakefield, Nebraska. And um, well, I like to feel a little bit of pressure, pushes those creative buttons. And that's why I'm down here in what I call the Hobbit Hole. You can see over my shoulder there that we have a, a giant mace, some maps for playing uh, board games. And uh, on this side, I have my favorite friend, uh, Michonne from the movie, or the television show, The Walking Dead. And I should tell you right there, I'm a dork. And if you're a dork too, and you like say, um, monsters and uh, witches and satyrs, then I have a book for you. See this book called Fable Haven. Imagine yourself. You're just a normal everyday kid and you think that your grandparents who run the nature preserve absolutely hate you. And you sit looking out the window as tree after tree passes by on your way to see them because your parents have decided to take a 17 day cruise and you have to stay with the grandparents that don't necessarily like you. Well, that's where the book opens. Well, the book opens there and it leaves that hoo-ha nonsense in the background because the truth is, is when Kendra and Seth arrive at gran Grandma and Grandpa's house, they go on whirlwinds worth of adventures um, because Grandpa starts off as a staunch, codgery old uh, uh, guy who sets different rules. But what are you going to do when you're a 12 year old kid and your, your, your caretakers give you rules? You're going to break them. And before you know it, they're out in the forest. They're investigating things in places that they shouldn't, shouldn't be going. And they run into a witch. And Kendra and Seth have questions. And they start to notice things that are different about it. And that's when they find out that Grandpa isn't just in charge of a nature preserve. He's in charge of Fable Haven, a reserve for mythical and magical creatures, creatures like satyrs and witches. And um, we have a giant golem who helps around the, the, the barn with chores. And that's when they drink the milk and they start seeing fairies and all sorts of things for what they really are. And they find out grandpa is super cool. And then they break some magical laws. And then they have to stand up for what they did and take down the bad guys. Um, in this mythical, magical, wonderful book, Fable Haven, uh, they, they, they suffer through many, many things. But they all come out better and stronger as a family. If you want a great book, check out Fable Haven by Brandon Mall. It's a series. And you know, once you read one, you have to read the whole thing. Thanks. This has been Blake Craig with my uh, book talk about Fablehaven. It's a book for dorks and it's a book for everyone. It's fun for the whole dorky family.